If you want to create the kind of images used by channels like Sleepless Historian or Historian Sleepy, you're in the right place. As you can see, you can even generate higher quality images. And I'll show you how to make visuals and videos in deep purple or blue themes, which are perfect for nighttime sleep stories that help people relax and fall asleep. As you might know, around 10.30 p.m., there's a large audience looking for comforting content, and there aren't many videos being released at that time. That's exactly why Sleepless Historian went viral. It's a smart strategy, high demand with low competition. That's why I made this video, to teach you everything about creating content in the easy and highly replicable sleep storytelling niche. In this video, I'll walk you through the entire process step by step, from writing your script using a master prompt, to generating unique images with style prompt templates, creating voiceovers that fit the mood, and editing in a way that keeps viewers engaged until the very end. The most important thing is that I've already created a full life cycle scenario using Make.com to handle everything for this kind of content. All that's left for you is some simple editing and review, so you can create videos like this with just a few clicks. Once you learn the system, you can turn it into a side income or even a full-time YouTube career. I'm Gary, an AI content creator and your mentor for growing on YouTube with AI-generated content. With over 10 years of experience as a senior software developer and five years mastering content marketing across major platforms, I've generated over $2 million in sales. And with that level of experience, there's truly no one better equipped to teach you everything you need to know in this space. All right, guys. The first step to creating a video like Sleepless Historian is writing a strong script. This is where most people get stuck. But the good news is, with ChatGPT, you don't need to be a great writer or a history expert. Now starting by opening ChatGPT and using this topic generation prompt, I put the prompt in the description so you can use it and try by yourself. Generate calm, slow-paced historical topics for a sleep-inducing narration. Focus on peaceful daily life, slow change, or gentle cultural practices. Avoid violence, politics, or fast-paced events. Ideal themes include ancient civilizations, cultural practices, architecture, trade, inventions, exploration, or daily routines across time. ChatGPT will give you a list, usually 10 to 20 ideas. Take a minute to read through them and look for something that instantly catches your eye. I'm going to do that now and pick one that I think will work for today's video. From that list, let's go with a day in the life of a farmer in ancient Egypt. Now it's time to turn that into a full narration script. Use this second prompt. This prompt works well because it tells ChatGPT how to write, not just what to write. Words like monotone, sleep-friendly, calm, gentle, and no tension are essential. They shape the entire mood of the output. Also, giving a clear structure helps ChatGPT format the script like a real narration with an intro, middle, and soft ending. And remember, for this prompt, you should only generate scripts around 600 to 800 words. If you want ChatGPT to generate longer scripts, you'll need to break it down into sections using a template. But I won't go into detail on that in this video. Once it's done, you'll have a long, soothing script that's nearly ready to use. Of course, I'll need to give it a quick review before deciding to use it in my video. I think it's pretty good, and for now, I'll copy the script from ChatGPT. I usually start by selecting just the intro paragraph, something short and simple, and then paste it directly into the text-to-speech editor in 11 Labs. This lets me test how it sounds before generating the full voiceover. Now, I'll guide you on how to pick a good voice for the history and sleep storytelling niche using 11 Labs. On the left menu, click on Voices. This will bring you to the full voice selection screen. At the top, click on Filters. For the language, of course, I will choose English. Then under category, select narrative and story. I personally prefer male voices for this kind of content, but you can choose any gender you like. If your competitors are mostly using male voices, you should consider using a female voice. That's my advice. Once you've set your filters, click apply filter. In the voice search box, I'm going to type a keyword like sleep. Then we'll get a final list of voices based on the filters we applied. Now let's review the voices together. One of the best voices for this niche is RJ Zane. It has a clear, steady tone that works really well for storytelling. Another great option for meditation or peaceful narration is Rago Vilbix. Or, if you want something a bit more casual but still calm, try J. For my demo, I'm using Mellow Matte. I'll click on the voice icon to use it. For the voice settings, 
I usually leave most options at their default values, since the default tone already works quite well for slow, calming narration. However, I do make two small adjustments to better suit the sleep storytelling style. First, I reduce the voice speed slightly. I bring it down to around 0.95. This slows the speech just enough to make it feel more soothing and easier for listeners to fall asleep. Second, I adjust the style exaggeration to about 5%. This adds a touch of expression to the voice, giving it a slightly warmer and more human tone, which helps with listener engagement, especially in long-form narration. Once those settings are in place, I simply click Regenerate to produce the new version of the audio. And that's it. Quick and easy. Now, let's go ahead and listen to how it sounds. Welcome. Tonight, we drift to the banks of the Nile River. The year is unknown. The air is dry. The sun is warm. We are in ancient Egypt. The river flows quietly. The people rise slowly. Life moves at the rhythm of the river. Soft and unhurried. Let us begin. Really cool, right? Let's move on to the next part generating images, which is one of the most important parts for any channel or video. For creating images like those on the Sleepless Historian channel, you can use my prompts. I've provided one in the comments, so you can check it out. Next, after ChatGPT generates 10 prompts for image creation, you can use those prompts to try generating your own. I'm just demonstrating one prompt here, so you can see the kind of results you can get. Once ChatGPT generates the image, you'll see how good it looks. It's funny, unique, and high quality. You can try more of these prompts if you want. To create images like the ones I use, I rely on specific prompts. After ChatGPT generates the prompts, simply copy each one and paste it back into this ChatGPT thread. Before each prompt, I add a prefix like, please create a landscape image, then press enter. For each image generation, you'll typically need to wait about 30 seconds, depending on server activity. The fewer people using the tool at the time, the faster it will respond. As you can see, the results are really good and match both the scripting and visual style I'm aiming for. Let's try it again. This time, I'll copy the fifth prompt. Just wait a little bit and, and as you can see once again, the output image looks really good as well. If you want to skip the waiting and generate images instantly using the OpenAI, check out my video series on automation. I've made several tutorials covering this process in depth and there's a lot you can learn. This step is crucial. If you can save time here, you could reduce the overall effort of building your entire channel and videos by up to 60%. If you want access to all the templates and pre-made prompt scenarios, including the ability to generate 300 plus high quality images in minutes, you can join the community. Everything is available for a very affordable price. Now let's move on to the next part, how to use Kling AI to generate videos. Although video length can go up to two hours, you don't need a lot of images for videos on this type of channel. Instead, you'll need some high-quality video footage that can be used as an intro for your channel, as well as clips to include at the beginning or end of your videos. Before using Kling AI, I'll filter out some high-quality images, as you can see in the scene. Using bulk automation, I can collect all of these images easily. Next, in Kling AI, simply upload your images. For the prompt, I'll use Create a peaceful scene. Make a video for a sleep support channel. Don't include too much facial movement, just let it feel calm and enjoyable. This prompt helps prevent distortion when faces appear and guides Kling to generate slow, minimal motion, which is perfect for sleep support content or nighttime storytelling. For this, I'll be using Kling 2.1. Each video will be 10 seconds long, and this will cost 70 credits per video. However, before jumping into 10-second clips, I recommend testing shorter 5-second videos first. Once the quality and motion are stable, then move on to generating full 10-second clips. With these high-quality videos, I believe you can build a standout channel, not only better than the sleepless historian, but also more rewarding. Better content leads to a better audience, which can result in a higher RPM in this niche. I'll be skipping video editing in this tutorial, as it's very simple. Just a voiceover and calm background music combined with a few images, and video clips are more than enough to create this kind of channel. All right, that's a wrap. Now you know exactly how to create sleepless historian-style videos that not only stand out, but also have the potential to generate income. From crafting the perfect script with ChatGPT, to generating soothing voiceovers and images, and using automation to streamline the entire process, you're all set to build your own successful YouTube channel. Remember, with the right tools and a little creativity, 
you can turn this into a side hustle or even a full-time career. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tips and tricks. Check out the description for all the links to the resources I mentioned, and if you want to dive deeper, be sure to join the community for access to all the templates and pre-made scenarios. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, where we'll keep building your path to YouTube success one step at a time.